Well, welcome back, Liberty Lovers. It was a long day. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock, and I just realized I didn't make my daily quarantine video, so here we go. Today was pretty cool. Uh, we went and picked some Japanese plums. I'll show you what those look like in a minute. And tomorrow slash today is my birthday. Yay! So I'm doing a big barbecue. Uh, <clears throat> the family that lives next door will be over. I was going to invite some family. and Maybe the wife will invite some family. But we're actually trying to do our little social distancing type quarantine or whatever. Today's day four. Technically day five. But uh, I got some steaks pulled out. I actually need to put them in the marinade now. And I'm going to be barbecuing corn. So I've, uh, you know, pulled the corn out. I <clears throat> shuck them. I believe, you know, took the husks off. Um, and then so I got, you know, aluminum foil. You put some butter on it, put some like garlic pepper, a little bit of Tony Sacheries, which is like a cayenne salt, like a Cajun seasoning type deal. And then, um, uh, yeah, garlic pepper, some, to oh, a spoonful of sugar. And uh, maybe some Crazy Jane's. That's another little seasoning. It's like a mixture of stuff, like a tabletop seasoning. But um, homemade potato salad, uh, Bush's baked beans, the maple cured bacon, of course. Um, oh, I'm also going to be doing like uh, diced cucumbers, tomato, mozzarella cheese inside of Italian dressing, some boudin, sausage chicken legs and garlic bread and probably some white cheddar mac mac and cheese but i'll definitely post it i mean i love barbecuing everybody loves my barbecue uh low and slow is the way to go you know i'd rather spend a little extra time on the pit with a little um lower flame i mean i use coals charcoal so i guess fewer charcoals and then a bunch of charcoals with a big faint you know it just burns your meat and it's just ugh. but anyways so uh let me show you the japanese plums these are actually really good let me see i'm gonna turn the light on blazer real quick in the crawfish pot japanese plums i think i'm pretty sure that's what these things are um uh, we're going to try to make a jam, maybe, or like a cobbler, but they're just so sweet and sticky. Oh, my gosh, they're so good. Um, they have a little, a, a slight little skin on it, slight little skin with a couple seeds, but they're, like, super sticky. Mm, they're so sweet. Matter of fact, the baby, <clears throat> it was me, the baby, the neighbor, and a kid that, a uh, little girl that they've been watching um the wife and um the friend that lives next door went to the dollar store oh and this is gonna be my cake look how cool i'm so excited and we'll have watermelon watermelon but i picked out a lemon cake yay with um i couldn't find cream cheese but i actually went to another little grocery store to get the cream cheese but um we're gonna do lemon icing with some cream cheese icing with some lemon cake and i'll be a big three five and of course i'll have red white and blue sprinkles on it right because america kicks ass and um yeah got the got the uh got the corns back here ready to rock some boudin right there i got a couple different kinds I'm really stoked about this this is what i'm really waiting on right here this is pepper jack cheese boudin but um an ice box for a family of uh Five and a little brother, six, six in a house. That's, a, that's what the icebox looks like. And uh, let's see. Oh, the steaks. Just to make everyone jealous real quick. Everyone jealous is in the future that they weren't here to uh, 
I'm <laughs> just picking. I'm being silly. Uh, so there's like a meat guy that comes by every, every once in a while. And typically, you know, be careful who you buy your stuff from. But you just can't pass up these deals. I mean, I mean, that's a good... I mean, look at the steak. That's a steak. And there's always like one or two boxes left. The women will get the filet mignons. Um, my brother will get one of these. Uh, my teens will split the strip. And me and the hand will get a T-bone. But, um, yeah, it's my brother. And then there's like an 18-year-old uh, that lives next door with the other family. So um, they'll... They'll each get one of those. Feel like a man for a day, but I just thought I'd check in. I'm gonna make a couple videos tomorrow. I will be definitely sipping on some of this. If you haven't tried it, look, I don't really drink, guys. Like, really, really, honestly, really, 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 I really don't drink. However, tomorrow's my birthday, and I will be sipping on. Bamboo ball. Oh my gosh. Um, so my dad, my stepdad, my dad is a, um, he loves, um, rum, right? And, uh, I turned him onto this for Christmas a year ago. And this is the only kind of rum he drinks now. And I originally got it because, uh, Little Wayne, um, which is, you know, probably my favorite artist uh, I've been listening to since like 99 year 2000 so for 20 years now you know I'm a Wayne fan but anyways side note uh, he had bought the distillery and it's actually like an old pirate recipe that has been around for a long time and uh, some people smell like bananas some people smell vanilla but apparently it's like the oldest pirate recipe that you can get or whatever but it's amazing. It's called Bamboo Rum. Look, I'll show it one more time. Bamboo Rum. Good stuff. But um, I guess I'm about to uh, stick this meat in the old marinade and uh, clean up the kitchen a bit and then go to bed. It's 2 o'clock here. I got to meet up with a client first thing in the morning. And then um, I'm going to start the pit up. And I'm going to get at it early. So... I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll make a couple videos uh, throughout the day and um, definitely show you what the end product's like. The spread's going to be nice, guys. The spread is going to be nice. But uh, y'all have a wonderful night. I hope tomorrow's just as amazing as you are. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Peace.